Hi folks, well it's getting to winter time and the dark nights are starting to come in which unfortunately means uh, pit bike playing uh, has been cut very short due to the fact that this doesn't have a light on it. Now I have been making do with this little uh, Cree uh, head torch or bicycle lamp uh, which sort of does the trick uh, but I wanted something a bit more permanent uh, so it looks a bit more factory on the bike. The downside to that is this bike isn't fitted with any uh, battery or charging system. All the power comes from uh, magneto and stator in here. And after researching for ages I found out that I'm quite lucky with this bike and the fact that it's fitted with a 5 wire magneto so it actually has got a lighting circuit which are these two yellow wires. I plan to use an LED uh, spotlight and the power coming from the uh, magneto is AC so I need to rectify uh, this by fitting a regulator rectifier which I'll show you after uh, which will change this AC current into a DC current luckily I have got these uh, two wires coming off the uh, magneto otherwise I would have to replace it uh, with a one with lighting circuit and whilst, whilst researching uh, for that offence, it's pretty easy uh, to replace anyway. We just take these bolts out, uh, take this case off, and then inside uh, the flywheel. I just bought a flywheel removal tool, and it takes the flywheel off, no bother. And then you can uh, check which kind of ring knee tool you've got, or you can just find the, where the wire comes out of the casing. Uh, here around here and find out where these uh, wires are and you can probably see if you've got two wires that aren't being used that kind of indicates that you have got a lighting circuit on your magneto and luckily I did have because uh, I think the uh, magneto for the uh, LIFAN the YX140 I wasn't able to find one uh, much cheaper than about 40, 40, 50 quid uh, for this specific engine. And after a few hours of uh, internet searching and uh, research, I've come up with this is uh, all the equipment I need to fit an LED headlight uh, without fitting a battery to the bike. So we've got the LED, this is just a standard LED spotlight. Um, I think it's something like 12 to 18 volt, which should be alright for the bike. Nice little light. And then I've got a, a double switched uh, handlebar switch. This is just in case I want to add an additional floodlight uh, as well as that spotlight. I don't know how the spotlight's going to work just on its own. So I bought one with the dual switching uh, capacity. Um, that's an aluminium housing one, which is quite nice. And then this is the uh, 12 volt regulator rectifier, uh, which should take the AC supply and convert it to a regulated 12 volt uh, DC supply. And then I've just got various uh, connectors, uh, this to go in there, uh, some cable, and then just some other bullet connectors. So I don't have to cut any of the pit bike wiring. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the headlight. And I've chosen just here on the number board. I think I'm just going to put it up there pointing forwards. Just like that. Because you don't want a headlight pointing backwards. Uh, but yeah, just put it on and use, utilise the uh, top uh, fastening. Now I've got the light mounted. So the next thing I'm going to do is just feed this cable up through here. Just uh, I'll probably take it just up to here just now. Uh, just tuck it behind there, make it a bit easier. Uh, and then I'll come back to that in a minute. And the next thing I'm going to do is just fit the uh, switch here on the handlebars. I just decide test fit it a couple of different ways, or I might get it right the first time. And there you go. There's a switch in position. And that's it, it's got the two on position, so you've got one up there, then off, and then another on down the bottom, so I can wire separate lights up. But I'm just going to use the top one just now for the spotlight, and I'll just leave the other one uh, unwired, in case I want to add an additional light. 
in order to find somewhere to put the uh, regulator rectifier I've uh, taken some of the plastics off and I've decided uh, to mount it onto this uh, bottom uh, or front tank mounting um, so I've bolted it through there and I did replace this bolt with a longer one uh, because the ones that are on it are quite short but I think they actually do uh, seal the tank I think these uh, holes go right through um, so if this was only in part way because of the thickness of this metal here it wouldn't be uh, creating as great a seal as it did previously so uh, I used a slightly longer bolt in there, just a stainless steel one and mounted it so all the wires are going to be in about the same place ok so my next step is going to be making the connection between these two yellow wires here and the connector block that plugs into here now I researched uh, the positions of that and I'll show you here the wiring diagram as you can see they're kind of uh, diagonally connected so I shall make up just the little thing with uh, bullet connectors this end and the plugs or the plug to plug into there right, so that's the uh, two plugs in there or two wires in there from the magneto uh, just ignore the colours but that's the uh, positions of them uh, so next step is uh, just to take the positive and the uh, negative feed off these up to uh, the light and the switch and to do that I've got this uh, long length of 2 core so I'll go straight from uh, to position on here which is negative up to the negative of the light and the other side I will go from the positive on this up to the input of the switch and then from the output of the switch to the other side of the light ok so now I've got the uh, black wire coming out of here uh, going all the way up uh, probably going to cover this cable uh, eventually uh, going all the way up and then bullet connected directly into the light uh, fitting there so next up I'm going to sort the switch and I've just done some tests on this so no wiring diagram and it looks like for this switch the black is the uh, input uh, from that's this the red wire that comes up will connect to the black and then um, the blue was for the top the top on position and the brown was for the bottom on position right now that's all the wires hooked up got all the bullet connectors just underneath this piece of uh, heat shrink I've not shrunk it yet uh, just because I want to check that it's actually working before I uh, bolt everything up or tighten everything up uh, so we've got the wire running under there and the flex in it to be able to steer so plenty of spare cable but not too much and that's all plugged in hopefully Right, so yeah, I'll just put the uh, put the plastics back on because I won't need to take them off even if I've wired it wrong. And then we'll test it. Right, and now, hopefully, moment of truth. Just off the stand. 